everyone, welcome back. Happy Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. It's Friday, ready for the weekend. Today I am doing March favourites, because guess what guys and dolls, we are about to be in April. I can't believe it, April's tomorrow. April 1st is tomorrow. April Fools. Oh, such joys. The joys of April Fools. Okay, so I don't actually have that many favourites this month, but I am going to do a little roundup and talk you through some bits of have McLovin nonetheless. So, starting off, loving Ed Sheeran's Divide album. So there's my first favourite. And second, I am going to go in with a hair favourite. So I have been washing my hair. I've been washing my hair with the same shampoo and conditioner, maybe for like four years. On the odd occasion I use what's in a hotel or I just use, try something new and try a new hair mask or try a different conditioner. But I have been trying this, this duo, and I've been really, really liking it. It is the Garnier Ultimate Blends Delicate Soother, Delicate Oat, Rice Cream and Oat Milk Shampoo and Conditioner. Sensitive scalp and fragile hair, soothes scalp, nourishes, softens and protects hair. Now, I really, really love the smell of these. They're really nice and... hang on. <laughs> They're just natural smelling. Does that make sense? It's nice and creamy and oat milky, as you uh, may imagine. But I've been really, really loving the combination. Now, I've got quite thick curl like this is its natural flick I wouldn't even well it's it's like a curly flicky kink um my so my hair's quite thick and this works really really nice with that and uh, it just makes it really soft and smooth and shiny and it feels really clean who's watching Broadchurch I love Broadchurch I love Olivia Coleman and David Tennant and I think that they're handling this situation really, really well because it's obviously a really sensitive topic and um, yeah, I think they're doing it really well and I'm absolutely loving it. What else have I been watching on the old Netflix? Just loads of movies. Oh my goodness, I watched I Miss You Already or Miss You Already, the one with Tony Collette and Drew Barrymore in. If you ever want a good cry, but like a two and a half hour film and then a good cry, wow. I haven't cried that much in a long, long time. I was sobbing, you know, with the uncontrollable liquids coming from all areas of face. I was sobbing. I was like, no, like, oh, it's really, really good. But I felt <sighs> afterwards, but yes, that was a good film. So moving on, got a skincare favourite. So this is by Bare Minerals. This is the Blemish Remedy Anti-Imperfection Serum formulated with oil absorbing zinc plus licorice root and meadow sweet extracts. So I don't know too, too much about the Bare Minerals skincare. I obviously love the Bare Minerals makeup and obviously lucky enough, I receive lots of new in products and such. So I get to try. And when it comes to skincare, I kind of just put it in the skincare drawer and maybe come back to it or just let my friends take it. And there was one night this month and I was like, right, I'm sick of it. I've been having these like spots just on this side up here and, um, but not fully fledged spot spots, just blemishes, under skin spots. You know what I'm on about, the annoying things. And I saw this blemish remedy. I was like, let's give it a go. It's a serum. I like the packaging. <laughs> let's give it a whirl. So it's literally a little pipette. So you squeeze some up there and then do the droplets on your hand, which I've just spilt, um, and pop that on. So I've been putting that on at night time. And no word of a lie, I don't really like, like I wouldn't believe someone if they said, oh, I put this on and overnight, just like magic, my spots were gone. But they were, they were gone, believe, believe me. And um, yeah, I think I have this to thank. So I don't know if this is a wait till you get the blemishes and then use it or use it continuously to prevent them. I've just been using it every day anyway as my serum and I have had really super clear skin. Obviously when it's that time of the month, we always get a little blemish or two, but um, so far so good. I've been really, really impressed with this. So if you've ever tried Bare Mineral Skin Care, do let me know. And then, okay, so I've been raving about these to so many people. I 
in March went to Manchester with Collection. I'm going to leave the vlog of that down below and in that vlog I used their new products, I vlogged about it and I loved my makeup in that video. I did an Instagram live and everyone was like what makeup are you wearing on your base right now and I was like guys it's collection. I am going to do like a colour correcting video super duper soon because I really love these products. I don't know if they're out yet. I seem to remember saying March, April, May so some, some may be out now, some may be coming out April, May. Um, but these two are the two standout products from Collection and their new range is the Primed and Ready range. So for me, yeah, these are my two favourites. First off, the Primed and Ready Powered by Witch Anti-Fatigue Illuminating Primer. So it's a really nice thin primer, just like a nice veil on the skin to prepare it for makeup. A primer is so vital to ensure long-lasting makeup base, basically. and it's illuminating, right, bear with me here, but because it's got witch hazelings, it's powered by witch, it, pr it gets rid of the unwanted shine and gives you the desired glow. Ah, oh, I explained that pretty well, I think. <laughs> Does that make sense? It gets rid of the, the shine that you're not gonna want and illuminates where you will. So I've been really loving that and I'm wearing that now. I've worn the whole collection collection ever since the event and I've been really loving it so that is my current favourite base primer and then so part of their launches as well are three colour correcting concealers now they are exactly the same formula exactly the same 16 hour long wear as the lasting perfection concealer by collection that we all know and love but they've just launched three new colour correcting concealers my favourite of the three is the lemon one and this one goes underneath the eyes to conceal the dark purpley bluey veins you may or may not get when you wake up in the morning. I have them permanently and this just works an absolute dream. I remember when I first applied it during the makeup masterclass I was like I look so awake guys and uh, yeah absolutely love this. I highly highly recommend you trying at least one of these colour correcting products when they launch. They are actually coming out with a little palette of them as well so if you would prefer a palette version but I absolutely love this. So yeah this is the shade number one lemon. Next up I have a product that I have had since Christmas but just kept it in my drawer. So what I'm trying to do this year is every Sunday go through my makeup collection and just kind of rotate my makeup bag as much or as little as I want really but just basically using the products that I have and I really want to do a huge decluttering session of my makeup stash. I have recently done one but I feel like I can do even better so I want to do another one. So basically I used this for a makeup tutorial a few videos back and ever since I've been using it. So it is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Surreal Light and it is this gorgeous absolutely Instagrammable AF palette. It's so little and diddy which I really like because I can take that out and about with me plus the mirror is a really really nice size. So I have been using these two top blushes here in mixture. That one's a bit too harsh because I'm super pale and then that one's just a bit too fair. So I've mixed them both and have been wearing that every day. Yet to use any of the other things but really really enjoying these two at the moment. And I know that is a highlight palette but there's been another highlight entered into my life that I am obsessed with. And ever since I've been wearing this in my Instagram lives or in person, everyone's like, which highlight are you wearing right now? And ladies and gents, it is Pixie. It's the Pixie and Aspen Avard collaboration. I hope I'm saying her name right. But it is the Pixie Glowy Powder in London Luster. I absolutely adore it. Wearing that today on the cheekbones, down the centre of the nose. It's just brilliant. I don't really know what else to say about this, but I just love it. So if you're on the market for a new highlight, it looks like this. It's not glittery, it's not pink, it's not gold, it's not silver. It's that ideal champagne shade that we just want. And I think that it would just look absolutely gorgeous on all skin tones from fair to dark. As you, like, you can completely see it on my face, like highlights brighter than my future. And 
on darker skin tones it's just gonna look gorgeous as well so i think it's really universal that way but yeah absolutely mm, love it pals i've got a new brow product in the mix today i have been loving this this again <laughs> recently everyone's like what is in your brows why are you doing differently so i've been using the becca shadow and light brow contour mousse got this a good year or year or more ago and i was so comfortable and felt safe using the Anastasia Duo Brow Powder. I was like, oh, a mousse, that sounds scary, but I'm so glad I, hold, I held on to this. So it has the actual brow shade and then a highlighting shade as well. Now, I love this because the colour is great. It's like a ashy brown, which is perfect. And I found that using a mousse with a little angled brush is so much quicker and looks a lot less harsh and looks a lot less like block like and it just looks a lot more fleeky <laughs> and it's just so much quicker and I take so long doing brows normally and this just works a treat I apply this and then I pop on the what we called the benefit gimme brow over the top just to kind of give me more hair action but I'm um, absolutely been loving this and then using the light shade underneath the brow just to really really define and get that sharp arch and point but yes absolutely love this again if you're one of these people that is like oh but powder is so easy and safe definitely try a mousse to try and describe the texture to you it's not like gel liner it's not like a pomade it's like dream matte mousse foundation i feel i'm trying to think of something that everyone will know the consistency and texture of that's kind of what it's like. It's a bit more tougher than the Dream Matte Mousse, but that's how I would describe it to you. And then finally, for my eyes this month, I have been gravitating towards the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics. I actually saw, you know on Facebook sometimes, if you follow a brand on Facebook or whatever, um, and like a little video plays automatically. I saw a video on Urban Decay's of Jamie Genevieve and she was just using this palette and ever since I saw that I was like, I'm just gonna use this palette and completely copy what she did. Um, so I've been using like a combination of nude, tempted and lockout, which is literally just this nice brown basic simple look. So that's what I've been reaching for. The reason I love this is because it's all matte. We've got a really dark shade if you want to smoke it out for a more evening appropriate look. So right now, if someone was like, do you want to go out for dinner? Not that I, you know, care to change makeup, but if I wanted a more dramatic look, I can just add on some black. I can make me, myself look more awake and put the lighter shade in the inner corners. If I want a pinky purpley look, that's covered. If I want a warm toned look, that's covered. I just think it's a brilliant, really versatile palette. So thanks for uh, that autoplay video on Facebook for inspiring me to go dig this out. And there we have it. Those are my March favourites. As I said, not too much this month, but still wanted to do a little roundup. Let me know what you've been loving this month. Have you tried any of these products? Are these your favourites? Are they not? Tell me why. I'm so excited for April. I'm going to Paris on Tuesday. I'm so excited. Oh. Hope you're all super well and have an exciting month ahead and I will see you in my next video. Bye!